Imagine diving miles below the ocean's surface, eager to explore the wreck of the Titanic. Now imagine the thrill of adventure turning into your worst nightmare as communication fades and time runs out. This is the story of the Ocean Gate Titan disaster, a journey meant for discovery that ended in tragedy. Welcome to the channel. If you love gripping stories of exploration and the untold, hit that subscribe button because we're about to dive deep. And trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Ocean Gate had one clear vision, to make deep sea exploration accessible in a way the world had never seen before. The company, founded by Stockton Rush, set its sights on the ultimate prize, taking civilians to one of the most iconic and mysterious wrecks in history, the Titanic. With the Titan submersible, they promised an experience unlike anything else, a chance to venture 12,500 feet into the abyss, to witness the haunting remains of the legendary ship that sank over a century ago. But this wasn't just about tourism, it was about pushing the boundaries of exploration. Ocean Gate wanted to revolutionize how we understand the ocean's depths, bringing attention to the largely unexplored world beneath the waves. The mission was bold and groundbreaking, tapping into our fascination with the Titanic and our desire to conquer the unknown. Yet, as the excitement grew around these expeditions, so did the questions. Could a small, privately built submersible withstand the crushing pressures of the deep? And more importantly, was this ambitious goal truly safe for those on board? The company forged ahead, determined to offer a one-of-a-kind adventure, an adventure that, for some, would come at a devastating cost. Little did anyone know that Ocean Gate's dreams of exploration would soon unravel in one of the most tragic ways imaginable. At the heart of Ocean Gate's mission was the Titan Submersible, a unique vessel that was supposed to be a marvel of engineering. Constructed using a blend of carbon fiber and titanium, the Titan was designed to be lightweight, cost-effective, and capable of withstanding the immense pressures of the deep ocean. It wasn't just a feat of modern technology, it was supposed to represent the future of deep sea exploration for non-professional adventurers. However, from the start, there were whispers of concern within the engineering community. The use of carbon fiber in such a high pressure environment was seen by some experts as risky. Traditional deep sea submersibles were built from materials like steel or aluminum for a reason. These materials had been rigorously tested and proven over decades of exploration. Titan, on the other hand, was a relatively untested design, pushing the boundaries of what had been done before. Additionally, Ocean Gate's decision to rely on off-the-shelf components, including a gaming controller for navigation, raised eyebrows. While this approach made the submersible more affordable, it also made people wonder, could these unconventional choices compromise safety? The bold vision behind the Titan was undeniable, but the question remained, had Ocean Gate underestimated the dangers lurking in the depths? June 18th, 2023, began as a day filled with anticipation. The Titan submersible, carrying five passengers, prepared to descend into the Atlantic to visit the Titanic wreck. On board were adventurers and experts, all driven by a shared curiosity and a desire to witness history with their own eyes. Among them was Stockton Rush, the CEO of Ocean Gate, leading his guests on what was supposed to be a once-in-a-lifetime journey. The dive started smoothly. The crew's excitement was palpable as they descended further and further, leaving the sunlight behind and entering the pitch-black depths of the ocean. But around one hour and 45 minutes into the dive, something went terribly wrong. Communication with the surface vessel was lost, and suddenly, the world above had no idea what was happening miles below. The Titan had vanished into the abyss, and as the minutes turned into hours, the situation became increasingly dire. What started as an exploration quickly turned into a desperate waiting game. The crew had only limited oxygen supplies, and without communication, there was no telling where they were or what had happened. With each passing moment, the fear and uncertainty grew. The silence from the deep was deafening, and soon, hope for the crew's safety began to fade. When the Titan lost communication, panic set in quickly. The surface crew responsible for monitoring the submersible's journey had no way of knowing if it was a technical glitch or something far worse. Hours passed without a word. With the sub's oxygen supply depleting by the minute, a frantic search effort was launched. 
nations across the world were alerted, and a coordinated response involving ships, planes, and deep sea equipment was set into motion. Search teams faced an immense challenge. The Atlantic Ocean, vast and unforgiving, hid the Titanic wreck over 12,000 feet below the surface. Pinpointing the location of a small submersible in this dark, crushing depth was like finding a needle in a haystack. Time was not on their side. Specialized remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, and sonar equipment combed the ocean floor, but with each passing hour, the urgency grew more palpable. The clock was ticking, and the hope of rescuing the crew alive was fading fast. As the world watched in suspense, social media exploded with theories, prayers, and speculation. Every minute that ticked by seemed to bring the crew closer to their limit. Would the search teams find them in time, or had the ocean already claimed the Titan and its passengers? On June 22nd, just days after the Titan vanished, a remotely operated vehicle made a heartbreaking discovery on the ocean floor. The world held its breath as the ROV captured images of debris scattered across the seafloor near the Titanic wreck site. The fragments were unmistakable. The Titan had suffered a catastrophic failure. The news sent shockwaves through the global community as hope for the crew's survival shattered in an instant. The U.S. Coast Guard confirmed the tragic news during a press conference, revealing that the debris field included parts of the submersible's structure. As the details emerged, it became clear that the Titan's journey had ended in a horrific disaster, taking with it the lives of all five individuals on board. Families and loved ones were left devastated, and a lot grappling with the reality of their loss and the shocking nature of the event. The public reaction was swift and intense. Social media platforms flooded with condolences, tributes, and expressions of disbelief. Many grappled with the juxtaposition of adventure and tragedy, pondering how a mission driven by curiosity and exploration could end so catastrophically. As the story unfolded, questions arose about the design and safety protocols of the Titan and the decisions made by Ocean Gate. What could have been done differently? The world sought answers, but the painful truth remained. The dream of exploration had become a nightmare, leaving an indelible mark on the narrative of deep sea adventures. In the wake of the Titan disaster, an urgent investigation began led by multiple agencies, including the U.S. Coast Guard and the National Transportation Safety Board. Experts and investigators combed through the available evidence, analyzing the debris recovered from the ocean floor and scrutinizing the design and operational practices of Ocean Gate. The primary goal was to uncover the factors that led to the tragic loss of the submersible and its crew. As the investigation unfolded, it became evident that several warning signs had been overlooked. Testimonies from former employees and experts hinted at a culture that prioritized expediency over safety, raising red flags about the rigorousness of their safety protocols. Concerns about the submersible's carbon fiber construction and the use of non-standard materials came to the forefront as experts questioned whether adequate testing had been performed to ensure the vessel could withstand the crushing pressures of the deep sea. The aftermath of the disaster sent ripples through the entire industry. Calls for tighter regulations and standards for deep sea exploration grew louder as the world grappled with the implications of the tragedy. OceanGate faced mounting scrutiny and criticism, forcing the company to confront its practices and decisions head on. As the families of the victims sought justice and answers, the ocean's depths, once a realm of fascination and adventure, became a somber reminder of the risks that accompany the quest for exploration. The Titan disaster would serve as a cautionary tale, highlighting the importance of safety in the face of human curiosity and ambition. As the Titan descended into the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, the immense pressure surrounding it was far greater than anything experienced at the surface. The ocean's depths can exert a pressure exceeding 16,000 pounds per square inch, a force that is capable of crushing even the most robust vessels in an instant. Experts speculate that shortly after communication was lost, the Titan experienced a catastrophic implosion, a sudden failure of the hull caused by the overwhelming pressure of the surrounding water. In such scenarios, the speed of an implosion is terrifyingly swift. When the structural integrity of the submersible was compromised, 
the pressure difference caused the hull to collapse inward at a velocity that would have been nearly instantaneous. The body does not feel pain during such a rapid event. It occurs so quickly that there is no time to register fear or suffering. In this tragic case, the five individuals aboard would have faced their fate in the blink of an eye, unaware of the peril that lay ahead. Months later, the wreckage of the Titan was located on the ocean floor, just a few hundred yards from the Titanic wreck. The discovery confirmed the fears of many. Pieces of the submersible were scattered across the seabed, revealing the devastation of the disaster. A year after the tragedy, Ocean Gate released a haunting video captured by a remotely operated vehicle, showing the remnants of the Titan amidst the ghostly remains of the Titanic. This footage, while a poignant reminder of the tragic events, also served as a sobering illustration of the ocean's power. As the world viewed the wreckage, it was clear that the quest for exploration must always be accompanied by respect for the deep sea's formidable nature. The Titan disaster was not only a lesson in engineering limits, but also a stark reminder of the fragility of life in the face of the ocean's depths. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the Ocean Gate Titan disaster. It's a stark reminder of the beauty and peril of exploration beneath the waves. If you found this story compelling and want to stay informed about more captivating tales of adventure and tragedy, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll be bringing you more intriguing videos exploring the mysteries of our planet, so don't miss out. Join us on this journey as we uncover the stories that shape our understanding of the world around us. Until next time, stay curious.